Grace and peace, everyone. Grace and peace. Good morning. Let me just go ahead and invite real quick. Some people might still be asleep. Some people get ready to go to church. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let me just go ahead and do the inviting now. But I have a, oops, I have a prophetic message for you all, for everybody. All right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Lord, I invited everybody. My mom, my sister, my dad. <laughs> All right. We're almost there. All right, we are ready to go. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. Or good afternoon, good evening, whenever you will be watching this video. So before we get into our prophetic message, let's open up in the word of prayer. Father Elohim, Abba Yah, we give you praise, we give you glory, honor. Thank you for this beautiful morning. We pray that you would prepare our hearts, prepare our minds to receive this prophetic word, this prophetic message. We thank you that it is now thrusting us into our blessed future. We thank you for our blessed present and we speak blessing peace and acceptance to our past we are in the now future the prophetic now and we thank you that you would give us the ability to picture the good that you are revealing to us now the picture to picture the seeds that you are now planting in our minds and our consciousness we command our spiritual eyes to open and see what Yahweh is putting before us we command our spiritual ears to open and hear the voice of Yahuwah. We say, Yahuwah, speak, for your servant is listening. Touch my tongue, let it be used as an instrument of divine glory. Let it be used to prophesy the word and the mind of Yahweh Elohim. We thank you for the power, and we pray this prayer in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach of Netzeret, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. Amen, Amen, and Amen. We thank you. Good morning if you're joining. Thank you for joining us here. But as you can see in the beginning or in the title box, the breakout, the breakthrough. The breakout, the breakthrough. And I heard this message even on last night. And I said, whoa, what is that about? The breakout and the breakthrough. Um, if you look at a word, you can get the meaning behind the word. For example, breakthrough. We hear that word thrown around a lot of times in sermons and teachings, which denotes, you know, something that is was more difficult before. You have now moved past that blockage. You have now moved past the stumbling block. You've now moved past the thing that was hindering you and blocking you, right? The breakthrough is here. The blessing is here. But let me offer you a slightly different definition of breakthrough. Break through, right? So you just put the two words together. So a breakthrough, again, is you're breaking through a wall. You're breaking through anything that is blocking you and hindering you. But breakout, when I think about breakout, I think about um, prisoners that get out of jail, right? So they break out of the prison or a fight broke out or a celebration broke out. A breakout is like an explosion. It's like a sudden, it is like a bonanza. Something that happens suddenly. So this way how the spirit gave it to me was the breakout, the breakthrough. So I prophesied to you that you're breaking out to get the breakthrough. You're breaking out to move into your breakthrough. Now let me give you the words, the specific words the spirit of Yah gave me to plant in your spirit because as i'm speaking these words are seeds i am sowing seed and the seed is the word of elohim the word of god and so write these down if write these down if you have a pen and a pen and a paper or you can type it in the comment box but i would prefer for you to take notes the beginning of a new thing all right 
the beginning of a new thing and a new move. So for some of you, this is a spiritual thing. It's something on the inside of your spirit that it is the beginning. It is the birthing of a new thing. You are in the ninth month of the pregnancy of your prophecy, the pregnancy of your promise of Elohim that he has made and made to you, that you are holding on to, that you're holding on to with strong faith. You are in the ninth month. You're getting ready to give birth because this is the beginning of a new thing. Today is August the 8th and the number 8 symbolically means a new beginning. And we have two eights, all right? So two eights, so double. So in other words, confirmation that today is a day, a beginning of a new thing and a new move. Get yourself ready for a new zip code. All right, so if you're watching this, please share this on all your platforms, like and share. Get ready for a new zip code. For others of you, this beginning, this new move is a actual geographic location, meaning the spirit of Yahweh is sending you prophetically to a new place. In other words, you're getting ready to move. Your living situation is getting ready to change. This is prophetic in nature. So you're being prophetically and geographically re relocated to your place of favor. You need to be where your angel is. So wherever your angel is, your angel of blessing, you all have an angel. We all have an angel. We have a number of angels, as a matter of fact, assigned to our life. But there is a particular type of angel or company of angels that are in the assigned place where the Most High is sending you to. So there will be an angel that will take you on its wings to the new place, to the beginning of the new move. Like I said, so some of you, as, a, as the word said here, get ready for a new zip code. So the angel is going to take you to the new place. It's going to put you in the charge or the company of the angels that are assigned there to work with you, to minister to you, open up doors of favor, all different type of things. And that's important because this is why you need to know that. When you get to this new place, things that you couldn't achieve before, all right? Things that you couldn't achieve before in the current place you're at now will now come rushing through at you. The tsunami is breaking forth upon you now. So things that you've been trying to work on right now in your current situation, whether that's a spiritual place where you're living right now and or a physical location, things that would not work out before, the business that couldn't pop, the ministry that just couldn't start, anything. When you move or when the spirit takes you upon the wings of this angel to this new place, you will now find that it's going to work under grace in a magical way, in a powerful way, in a prophetic way. There's going to be the grace of the Most High that's going to be upon you now to make sure and that thing is going to come to pass with an ease and with the grace. It's going to come so fast and so powerful at you because why? It's been waiting on you. So as it's been waiting, it's been being filled up. The pressure has been being filled up almost like a pipe when you're, the, 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 the pipe is on, but the nozzle is blocked or it can't flow. There's a lot of pressure that is being built up. As you reach this new place where Yah is taking you, it's going to be a tsunami. You know what a tsunami is? A tsunami is a tidal wave that is created by an earthquake. There's been so many shaking that's taken up in here, so many shaking that has been taking place in your life right now. So many rattling, the pressure has been building up. But the place where you're at now is not anointed for who you are. It's not anointed for what you carry. It's not anointed to facilitate the birth or the beginning or the new beginning of what you've been meaning and destined to birth. It's not big enough. It's not, it doesn't have the capacity to stretch enough. Almost like when a woman's giving birth, if she does not dilate enough, fast enough, then they got to go do the cesarean and cut the baby out. So this next place where you enter into is going to be a tsunami of all that you've been trying to manifest, all the seeds you've been sowing, all the time and effort you've been sowing into building and manifesting your vision. The tsunami is going to break forth upon you. However, we know that tsunamis are destructive, but here's what the word of the Lord is saying to you. It will not destroy you. If you're hearing me, type it in the comment box. It will not destroy me. 
Listen to this. Listen to the progression. It will not destroy you. It may displace you, which means move you from the place you're at now to another place. You may not even know where you're going, right? Because in a tsunami, if you see people that, and people in buildings on top of the water, they're moving, but not at their own will. They're going where the water, the current is taking them. So they really don't know where they're going to end up at. So the tsunami of, 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 of the grace that's going to come upon you is not going to destroy you, drown you, or overwhelm you. But it may displace you, take you from one place and put you in another place suddenly. Listen, but it will surely bless you. It will surely bless you. Guaranteed. I want everybody to type that in comments. Guaranteed. All right. There will be a new sound in you. A new sound of revelation, a new sound, a new frequency, a new vibration, a new song, a new praise, a new level, a new sphere of influence, a new dimension of prophetic power and operation in your life. There will be a new sound on the inside of you, in your being, that will match the new sound in the streets. The new place is ready for you. The new place is ready for you. And here's the charge of Yahweh, the spirit of Yahweh. You are going. You're going. No ifs, ands, or buts. You're going. Now, you can resist all you want. You can resist if you want to and tell the Lord, I don't know about it. But the spirit is saying for me to tell you, you are are going so when this angel of visitation visits you and puts something in your mind gives you a revelation of whoa that just dropped into my mind where did that come from that is so strong that is not my thought because you know your angels are like thoughts as well thoughts are like angels sometimes they fly through your mind and you know in that moment sometimes you know in that moment you discern in that moment that it was not Something you just thought of just like that. It was the spirit who sent his angel to drop a seed in your mind. You are to receive the seed. And as you receive the seed and say like Mary, Miriam. Well, Gabriel, you telling me I'm going to have a son, a child, and to name him Jesus, to name him Yahshua. Uh, I already told you I'm a virgin. I don't. I have never slept with a man, had never had sex with a man. I don't know how that's going to be possible but at your okay i'm back i think my, my service just went out somebody probably i think yeah somebody was trying to call me at your word so be it at your word so be it i don't know how this is possible father but at your word so be it i want you to type in the comment box so be it type amen type it is so don't say it will be so say it is so i want you to type i am right type in the comment box i am this word i am this prophetic word instead of saying i receive right say i am this prophetic word of the lord so get ready so to reiterate this is this is something new is starting in you Something new is starting. There is a new move. There is movement in your belly. For some of you, this pertains to your spiritual life. And for some of you, this pertains to your geographical location. The Most High needs to move you physically to a place of your favor. For some of you, it is all of the above. And I think for most of us, we need some all of the above. So let's close out in prayer. That is all I have to say to you today. Father, I thank you. I thank you for all of the saints that are watching from the north, south, east, and the west. Father, I lift up this word, this video that I'm doing as a first fruits offering. One of many of this ministry. Father, this is your ministry. I'm just a steward. Father, have your way with this ministry. Let it touch millions and thousands all over the world. 
I am the one you have chosen. You have revealed it to me. So I receive it by saying, I am that. I am that which you have shown me that I am. And I am this now. I thank you and I bless everyone that is listening in this moment. Let their lives be blessed by the prophetic word. Let their lives be increased and just enlarged so powerfully in the mighty name of Yahshua Mashiach of Nazareth. And listen, if you're watching me right now and you are uh, prompted by the Spirit to donate to this ministry, there is no obligations, there's no mumbo jumbo, there's no sow a seed and get this and that. I don't believe in that personally. I just believe that if you want to give, you give as it is in your spirit or you give what the spirit tells you to give. So I just want to open the door that if you want to sow into my ministry, you can do so right now. I'm putting the information down on, on the bottom and just be led by the spirit. But this, that which I'm doing right now, I love what I do. I love what I do. I love to speak the mind of Yah. I love to be that vessel and be that voice for everyone that is listening so that they can have hope, they can have courage, they can receive the instruction from the Most High. And before I go, I feel the Lord telling me that if there's anybody on here that needs a prophetic word to minister to you. So if you need a prophetic word and you're listening to me right now, type, I need a prophetic word. Go ahead before I have to get off and um, go do something else. So if you need a prophetic word, prophetic prayer right now, type in the box, I need a prophetic word. Hallelujah. Glory to Yah. Glory to Yah. Sharebun dadish katambur. Telemberem bramba kutala naba arabo. Shebrin dos kutusha. All right. Suoma, I hope I pronounced your word right. I see you. Father, I thank you for this woman of Yah. I give you praise for her life and I give you praise for that which you are doing in her life right now. I thank you for the prophetic word which will come forth with power and clarity and it will be what she needs to hear in this new moment on this new moon day. Now, sister, the Lord has shown me that you've been wrestling with some things. You've been wrestling with some thoughts and ideas. Um, should I do this? Should I go to this school here? Should I get into this business venture here? The father is saying to tell you to be still. There is much about your life and much about this situation, these situations and circumstances and opportunities that needs to be revealed to you before you can make an informed decision. Once you get the information, once you get the prophetic information and instruction concerning these many decisions, I see many decisions and opportunities that have presented itself to you, and it's a bit confusing, it's trying to figure out which way to go. Once you get those information and the Most High talks to you and tell you what it is to do, whether through dream, vision, or you hear him, or you it's an impression or intu intuition, go with that, you will make the right decision. Whether it is he's telling you to join or telling you it is to let the opportunity pass. But Father is speaking over you the spirit of clarity, that you will have clear thinking, and that you will have emotional intelligence. And when you make this decision, you'll make the decision in confidence and you will see the blessing that will follow and ensue. In the name of Yehoshua, amen. Debbie Dale. I thank you, Father, for Debbie Dale. Debbie Dale, you are a lion, a lioness, and that there are many things that the Father has called you to rip into and tear into. You are a warrior. You have a warrior spirit. So there are so many things that you will find yourself coming up against in a spiritual battle, as it were, as a spiritual warfare. You will be given strategies, strategies and ways and means to defeat the enemy of your calling and destiny. You have an anointing to break strongholds and break bondages. But Father is saying that I'm going to break the bondages and strongholds in your own life first. And then I will anoint you and appoint you and I will send you 
as a prophetess to go forth and break forth those strongholds in other people's life. You have a ministry of healing and deliverance, and it's going to be very powerful. So make sure that you're staying humble and submitted to his spirit, humble and submitted to what he is that is teaching you and instructing you how your ministry is to work. Follow within those guidelines and follow within those instructions that he's given you, and you're going to have a successful ministry. That's what the spirit of the Lord says to you. If there's anybody else here who needs a prophetic word, type, I need a prophetic word or else I'm going to run away and get out of here. The Spirit of the Lord is moving here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We give all glory to Yahweh here. You are very welcome, Debbie. We give all glory to Yahweh here. If anybody needs a prophetic word, type, I need a prophetic word in the box, comment box. Speak, Lord. All right. I see you, Lindiwi. I see you, Antonio. All right. Lindiwi, the Lord is working in the area of your heart, working in the area of the emotions. There are some traumas and there's some hurts and there's some abandonments that I see stemming from childhood some is more recent in your life but the father says he is working in the area of the heart he's working in the area of the emotions the area of the soul that may have been rubbed raw by some individuals who did not who did not understand you and even situations where you failed to understand and pay attention to the red flags that presented itself to you so in this time in this moment as you're hearing me talk to you you're being healed. I see him massaging your heart, cradling you in his arms. But you're also being imparted with a greater level of wisdom and a greater level of discernment. And the Lord is going to show you how you are to be loved. And you are going to begin to know how it is that you want to be loved. And you're going to be very careful and mindful who you love. You're going to know how to love them as well. So that you don't leave yourself vulnerable and in a position finding yourself loving someone who cannot match and or complement your level of love. All right. And the Lord is going to bless you and train you and prepare you as well for your kingdom marriage. And that's the word of Yahweh. Antonio Palafox, I thank the Lord for you. I thank the Lord for what he's doing in your life. There will be books that you are assigned to read and complete in this season. Make sure that you are very on top of yourself. Make sure that you are very disciplined with yourself, with the reading of these books and the journaling. There is much about the times and seasons that the Father has called you to step into, but you have not stepped into it. So therefore, there's certain things that's starting to lack in your life. But I see a window of opportunity where you can go and catch and recapture those things that have missed you because of you, you not being in alignment with certain of the things that the Most High wanted you to read. Had you read it and studied it, when things approached you, you would have had the discernment to say, okay, this is that which the Most High had me reading prophetically. This is why the Most High had me reading prophetically. So go back and pick up those books that you did not read. Go back and complete those assignments that you did not read and the Lord is going to give you a grace with speed. You'll be able to get it done quickly and to take your rightful place in this season as the official that you are in the kingdom. Amen, amen, amen. You're very welcome, Linda Wee. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Okay, is there anybody else that I have not ministered to? Please let me know. If not, I will close this video. Father, I thank you. This is my first fruits offering. Hallelujah. This is my first fruits offering. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Glory to you. I think I ministered to everyone here. Yeah, I think I did. All right. Like I said, uh, if you want to donate to this ministry... You're very welcome, brother. If you want to donate to this ministry, the information is down there, pinned on the bottom. Also, go ahead and follow me on my other social media channels. I'm on YouTube, 
as Voyager Shemayim and um, Instagram. I don't really be on there that much, just to, to, to be honest with you. But if you guys see me for the first time, please add me as well. Add me as a friend. And until the Lord has me on here next time, I will see you soon. I will see you next time. Peace, blessings, priestly blessings. Amen and amen.